Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. This is on how to make this wind effect using shader graph. You can see for the trees, for the flag, for the sails and for these small ones. So I'm using this scene from Sketchfab which I downloaded from this page because it goes to this guy and I'm gonna put a link in the description and so I downloaded this as an FBX so I can modify the mesh that I want because this tree all of it was one mesh right so I need only the, the leaves to be uh, to be alone so I can add the material on it and only the leaves will move not the whole tree uh, so I did that in blender 3d and uh, this is the setup that we need. So let's dive into creating the shader. Create shader PBR craft. Let's call it um, wind effect. And let's open that. And so we are going to start with a position in world coordinates and we're gonna split this and then we want to create a vector 2 out of the x and the z right and then we will connect this to tiling And offset to the UV nub and then this is going to go to a noise gradient and so what this does is we are saying based on the position the X and Z position of each part of the mesh in world uh, um, space we want to unwrap this texture based on that so to show you what the, what this exactly does we will connect this to the albedo save create a new material out of this and attach it to the trees so now if we move this around you can see that as if the texture is applied based on the X and Z position. So let's go back. So then we need to add this noise to a to the position. Of the mesh so we can do that by so so I will split this as well I will add to the X position this noise and then I will create a vector 3 out of everything and connect that to the position and obviously this is going to be a texture so let's create a texture let's throw that in input texture it's connected to the albedo we need a way to control the power of the noise so we're gonna multiply this by property so we're gonna say wind power multiply this by that and use that instead let's save that we can see that they disappeared that's because we have an issue 
which is that I did the position in world position in world space and I didn't convert that back to object space so transform from world to object and connect this instead save that let's take a look and we are back in here so if we change this you can see this is going on so we also want to be able to change the scale of the noise so let's create another one let's say um, noise size let's throw that in and also to to move the uh, we need to move this texture by time so we are gonna create a so we are gonna create a time and we will multiply it by a number to be able to change the speed and we can connect it to both the offset on the X and the Y so let's create wind speed and let's connect it in here let's default this to 1 and this to 5 save that let's look at that this is funny so what we need to do is the wind speed should be less than that obviously and the noise size as well something like that looks fine let's reduce the speed more than this oh. 0.2 and let's decrease yeah this looks fine now you can see we are moving it only on the x-axis we can do it also on the y and the z so what you need is is to do the same thing for the y and the z so let's duplicate these and oops, let's connect the y and connect the same properties so we can change everything together the UV and this one we are going to add any number to it so it will be a bit different than this one it won't be affected the same time as this so let's save that this already looks much better and you can do the same thing for the Z if you want um, so now what's going on is the whole leaf is moving even the root which can be fine but if you want it to move from the tip and not from the base well what we need to do is create gets us the UV split that and then you can see that the Y will give us this nice gradient based on the unwrap of the mesh and so this can be used for a lerp between the actual position in object space 
and this. So let's connect Lerp and so zero. Okay, let me we'll, we'll try this and connect this as a factor and connect the position. Let's check this out. And now we have the opposite of what we want. So now the root is moving, but the tip is not. So we want to flip these. And now you can see this is not moving while these are moving. You can tweak that based on some multiplier. But this looks good. And all of them move. So you can see this is the end result. You can see I, I made a shader for these and for the flags. And they are almost the same thing. The difference is, so this is for the um, um, this one as well, the, the sales, you can see them. So this one is for them. And so I made this, uh, this texture, which maps to, to the actual one. And so the, the white is you can move, the black is you cannot move. And then I used that to lerp between the original position and what is moving. And the rest is almost the same. I can show you. I used that for uh, for for these, and then these are for these flags. And so what I did is to have this waving motion. I added a. I splitted the the tiling an offset and took the x-axis and fed it to a sine wave which will have this black white black white and then to control the speed you multiply the time and to control the frequency you can just increase the tiling on the x-axis and then I multiplied the the original uh, noise with, with this sine wave so you can have some irregularity and then I used the same thing a this this is the flag where the black is do not move and the white is you can move so thank you everyone for watching please consider to click the subscribe button and have a nice day